My name is Matthew Drake. I'm the CEO of Mount Hood Meadows. And uh, on behalf of myself and our entire team and my family, we welcome you to what will be the first of several tours of Sahali. We're standing uh, in front of the front door, or what's going to be the two main entries at level one into Sahali. Uh, over here is how Sahali connects to the existing South Lodge building, both at level one or at grade level, and then at level two, there's a sky bridge that connects the two. We're just about ready to start putting in the windows. All the windows and window frames are on site. Um, the building will be in the dry within the next two weeks. Um, all this yellow stuff you see here is the exterior insulation covering that will be a very innovative uh, system of concrete panels called an Arcus panel and they will be installed in August, one of the last things we do with the building envelope. So what you can't see is the roof uh, yet anyway, the roof is going to be completed here in the next three weeks uh, and then with the windows going in that gets us in the dry. So. Let's uh, go on inside the main lobby here at level one. And this will be the, uh, the entry lobby, um, quite a gracious space. On this area right here will be a, a series of screens and monitors, significant amounts of wayfinding. This is a place where you can kind of uh, sit, collect yourself, understand what the layout of the building is and where you want to go from this point uh, on into the structure and really throughout the resort. Uh, this building is really focused on um, maximum amount of light exposure into the building and uh, engaging the indoors uh, or the outdoors in an indoor environment. This entry comes right in uh, from the existing daycare entry right down that hallway would take you into the daycare. So this is another means of connectivity to the existing building. As we enter into the guest sign-in area, this is part of our whole new uh, plan uh, to streamline uh, the rental operation, make it easier for our guests, make it faster, uh, make it more enjoyable uh, for this whole process. So after the guest has signed in and all their information is in our system, they then come into the boot fitting area. Uh, this is a large area that will hold all of our boot inventory and right here will be uh, a boot fitting ramp where our staff will fit boots as if they were a custom boot fit for each guest because we all know that the fit of the boot is, is a big contributing factor in a positive way to a guest's day here at Mount Hood Meadows. If their boots fit great, they're going to have a great day, and this is where all that starts. So they'll come through here, they'll get fitted with their boots. And then they'll exit the boot fitting area right here and come into a very large locker room where we will have lockers for our guests to put their belongings uh, as they have their rental equipment. Um, everything will be entered into our system so their skis or snowboard and all of their equipment will be pre-teched and will be put out on the snow and we'll take you there to then where they will go get uh, their skis. But first, they need to get uh, their helmet on and so we will do helmet fitting in this area right here. Make sure we get a, a comfortable and safe fit for all guests' helmets. So now they have their boots on, they have their items stored in their locker, they have their hat, their glove, their goggles, their helmet, everything's ready to go. And so now they're getting ready for their first experience onto the snow. So we come through this area here, which is really cool. Uh, this is an area that is completely conditioned with an air curtain, so it's got warm air coming, all snow melted surface. They come right out here to this area. Okay, so we're at the exit door from rental now. The guest is here. Here they'll be greeted by a Mounted Meadows uh, staff person who will know their skis or their snowboard will be stored out here. Uh, their bindings will already be set for their boots and adjusted for their height, weight, and ability and uh, our staff will then hand that uh, guest their equipment, make sure that they know how to put it on. Uh, if they have an instructor, their instructor will meet them here, and then they can go from here to either the daisy lift, the buttercup lift, 
or our magic carpet network uh, that is further downhill here. Okay, folks, now we're in the important ski tech room. This is where all the skis and boards uh, for our rental fleet will be not only stored, but we'll have tech benches here and staff, uh, lots of uh, uh, high tech equipment in here to be able to monitor and test our bindings. Okay, now if you're a parent and with your children and they're enrolled in the Children's Learning Center program here at Mounted Meadows, we want to kind of take you on the path to our new Children's Learning Center facility here. So your level one entry, you're now coming down uh, the Great Hall. To the left are the men's, women's, and family restrooms. Uh, right here, they're, they're quite large, so all new uh, restrooms, uh, beautiful finishes, and so forth. Uh, we come here, this will be the sign-in desk right here for people who are signing in for the Children's Learning Center. And then we come into what will be and what is huge brand new Children's Learning Center space. And this is where kids can do uh, prepare for their on snow activities. They can do their arts and crafts. Uh, there's playtime here. Over here are the bathrooms that are, that are unique to this space. So these are kids' bathrooms only, uh, supported by this area. Over here is, uh, it's got plastic over it now, but this will be the exit so kids can get ready for their uh, skiing, riding experience in this space. All their equipment will be here and they can go directly onto snow right here with their instructor so that they are with uh, supervision 100% uh, of the time that they're at Mount Hood Meadows and enrolled in this program. Okay, so Pierce is going to follow me and this is how guests can come right in from the snow and go into Sahali. We're Coming into the Alpenstube is on my left. And when we're all done, this will come down. And here's your connector that takes you right into Sahali. Okay, folks, so now we're at level two. We're on the Skybridge connector that connects the South Lodge at the Alpenstube approximately uh, into the Sahali building. So follow along. So this is all going to be windows facing up the hill and out into the parking lot. And then we come into a really awesome open area here that this is a cafe. Um, it's called Wild, Wildflowers Cafe. It will celebrate its decor. will celebrate all of our indigenous wildflower species here at Mount Hood Meadows. Provide another great opportunity for learning. Uh, you can come here in the morning or any time of day and get a great uh, hot drink or cold drink. This will be a great place to start your day. Lots of natural light uh, flooding into this space and uh, really kind of the, the welcome point at level two into Sahali. Just a quick word about uh, this area. Um, this big hole in the slab is the, uh, where the elevator goes. The elevator is a two-stop elevator that goes from level one to level two. Okay, folks, so now we're on level two and we're entering the Sahali grill area. This is food and beverage seating. They're seating in here for about 200 guests. Uh, all this area here will be table seating, tables and chair seating. This whole wall here is glass that faces up Buttercup Hill. Outside there where you see all that red piping, that's the snow melt system for the exterior deck. The exterior deck will be uh, more seating, uh, fire pits, um, really great uh, southern exposure, great views of the top of the mountain, great place to sit with your friends and your family to have a beer or a meal, hang out. On the south wall here, again, another set of men's and women's restrooms plus unisex uh, restrooms. Uh, these are, again, large, uh, beautiful new bathrooms with very nice fixtures and so forth. So we're between what's on level one and level two, a dramatic increase in restroom capacity at the resort. Here's the entry door into the Sahali Grill from what will be the, the new uh, Sahali deck experience. Again, glazing glass all along that wall uh, that really brings the indoor or the outdoors indoor so that this whole experience uh, engages with our natural environment here. Now we go into the Sahali Grill and this is a uh, 
Really a great new food concept for Mount Hood Meadows. It's known as a scramble. Okay, where you see this uh, overhead framing here, this separates the kitchen area, which is sort of back of house with the front of house. So all this is guest area for guests to be able to select from a diverse uh, array of menu items, all made fresh uh, in our kitchen here. And uh, guests can select their menu items. Then they'll come to a checkout stand right here where they'll, where they'll pay for their uh, food items and so forth and then go right on to uh, their seating. Behind the scenes in the kitchen is uh, going to include not only substantial grill capacity for all kinds of uh, grilled items, uh, but a beautiful brand new uh, pizza oven from Florence, Italy that will be installed here in the next 10 days. This is basically all the food prep area here. Pizza oven will be here. There's a window that goes here. And then this is all grill cooking area back here. Tremendous capacity for preparing uh, uh, hot items, salads, soups, um, a whole list of uh, new menu items that we will have here uh, that will change uh, seasonally. So basically this is total back of house uh, kitchen uh, that will have significant capacity uh, to serve fresh foods, freshly prepared foods and do so quickly and uh, I think this is going to be a huge addition Okay, now we're entering one of my favorite areas here in Sahali. Right across from Sahali Grill in the Scramble area is what we call the Bull Wheel Bar. And uh, the entry to the Bull Wheel Bar will be right here. Here is the Bull Wheel. This is an older Bull Wheel that was the, uh, formerly on Mount Hood Express. Um, we want this space is not only going to be an awesome uh, uh, bar service area, but this space will really celebrate all that it takes to run a ski area in terms of our vertical transportation. So this area really celebrates uh, the chairlift. So a couple other attributes of this uh, space. Um, there'll be a beautiful fireplace here. Uh, the mantle uh, for the fireplace is uh, made of massive uh, wood members that we repurposed that came from the, uh, the lower terminal of the yellow chairlift. Uh, this is heartwood. Each one of those columns that held up that terminal was 12 inches by 20 inches. Um, and each one was basically a tree milled for that back in 1967. Uh, when we demolished that building, we saved all those and we have repurposed them. And you'll see them throughout this uh, building, particularly on this level, and the finishes, the mantles, and, and so forth. Over here is the actual bar and bar back. The bar will be right here, and then there's a service window that will service the new deck space out there. So you can sit at the deck and come right to this window and get your beverages and so forth, um, and, uh, and also be in this space if it's snowing or whatever. Um, the windows, there's lots of natural light coming into this space. The windows are not in yet, so the plastic you see here, uh, if, it's, uh, if it's got plastic on it, that means the windows go in there. So great views from inside this room. Next week, actually, we install the bull wheel pretty much right where it is. We're going to hoist it up and attach it to this column or this beam and to that beam. The bull wheel will hover over the bull wheel bar and um, I think be an enduring testament to the challenges and, and operation uh, complexities that it takes to run this resort. And so uh, very unique. Uh, the bull wheel itself, itself weighs about 6,500 pounds and it will be here in perpetuity. So now we're in front of what we call kind of the Sahali Grill Great Room. This is underneath the mezzanine where we're going to go in a minute. But this is a really cool place where we'll have both combinations of table seating and then can interchange uh, some softer, more living room type of seating. There'll be a significant fireplace, hearth and mantle uh, right there, all of stone. And again, using the huge uh, wood members that came from the stadium chairlift uh, lower terminal building. Um, so this is going to be a very warm, uh, comfortable uh, seating area. And of course, right over here, uh, this is all glass facing Buttercup Hill. And this window faces and all that glassing faces the top of the mountain. So more mountain views uh, from this area. So now uh, we're at the mezzanine level, which we also call Raptor's Roost. Um, this area celebrates the fact that we have a significant raptor population here up on Mount Hood and at Mount Hood Meadows. So again, a great learning opportunity to understand the wildlife, particularly the 
the, the raptor wildlife that we have here at Mounted Meadows. Uh, additional seating will be up here. This is also a great place for private events and so forth. Uh, it has tremendous amounts of uh, glass that face uh, the top of the mountain and obviously overlooks the Sahali Grill. So there's uh, seating up here for about another 40 to 50 patrons. Uh, in, it's kind of an overflow area or a special event area. We're big believers here at Mount Hood Meadows of flat roof technology structures. And so Sahali has kind of a, a butterfly type roof, but largely flat. And uh, the idea is we want to hold the snow on the roof, but also we're letting Mother Nature help us a little bit because when it gets windy up here, which is frequently, you know, either before, or during, or after it snows, on a flat roof, the wind tends to scour the snow off, so the roof holds less snow. But our roof is designed to actually hold some snow, and we uh, keep the snow on the roof. There's a snow melt system on the roof. We then harvest that runoff and it comes down through a central piping system and then is injected into a rain garden. Uh, the rain garden then filters the water and then goes, it's an inserted into the wetland system in a, in a series of tiers and then ultimately enters the wetland system further downstream. So we're harvesting that water and having a complete uh, closed loop hydrological system here with our runoff. The other thing that the flat roof uh, does is we don't have to worry about snow shedding. That means snow run, you know, falling off a steeply uh, pitched roof, which is a safety problem and makes it difficult to get in and out of buildings. Also, it, it makes it difficult to have windows that engage the outdoors. So the flat roof technology and the design of this building, which was done by a combination of Rick Kasner, Benefit Street Design, and LRS Architects, uh, the incomparable John Williamson, our project architect, uh, they have really done a masterful job of completing the design for this building to meet all of the requirements which are difficult, very challenging in this environment. This will be the main staircase that takes you to the Sahali deck and then ultimately inside through the Sahali grill at level two. Um, the area around here, which right now is, it's just, it's gravel surface so we can run on it with the lifts and so forth. Uh, this area, all the gravel will be removed. It'll be graded. Uh, a, the rain garden goes uh, uh, probably about 50 feet from where I'm standing is a large rain garden pond. Um, with very gentle slopes with special plant material planted in it that this is the, the settling pond that takes the runoff from Sahali from the roof from the footing drains and so forth into the settling pond the water is then cleaned and then it's uh, it overflows or spills over uh, after it's been detained and settled out into the wetland complex which is adjacent to it when we're all done here, this area will be all jute matted, uh, hydro seeded with indigenous materials approved by the Forest Service. And then we create, uh, we harvest plugs of indigenous species from within our permit area and we transplant them into the jute matting. So typically after two or three growing seasons, this will be a completely lush wetland complex uh, with a path system that will be tight to the building so that folks won't walk into the wetland but we'll have an interpretive station here so that, that our guests can come and learn about the importance of wetlands, how they function, their importance in the natural setting, and how it contributes to the healthy hydrological setup here, at, but not only at Mount Hood Meadows, but on Mount Hood. Well, folks, I just want to say big thanks for coming along on our first tour of Sahali. Uh, we're making great progress. Essentially, we're right on schedule to deliver the building on or about uh, the first week of December 2020. Um, Substantial completion date is right around Thanksgiving. We'll be shaking the building down, uh, starting all the systems, cooking, training, uh, cleaning, uh, getting ready for your, uh, your visit. It's also not lost on us that we're in difficult times right now, and we really hope that you will come to Mount Hood Meadows, that you will feel safe with all of our systems and procedures that we are gonna be putting in place to operate safely this year and that you will celebrate that this is your mountain home and that you can use this as a place of healing with yourself and your family and your friends. So thanks again for joining us today.